four. Tonight, a Wilson County couple sharing their pregnancy journey after they both had their children. They had both of their children through in vitro fertilization. This comes when there are still questions about the future of IVF after the Supreme Court's abortion ruling and no mandate for insurance companies in Tennessee to cover infertility treatments. News 2's Kendall Ashman sits down with the couple who is just one of thousands of couples who traveled overseas to become pregnant. This is our son, August. He's two and he'll be three in a few weeks. And this is our daughter, Parker, who is almost six months old. Tonight, the Purnells are thanking science for their two little ones. This is the first positive pregnancy test I've ever seen. For Caitlin and Walter, they shared their entire pregnancy journey through social media. We're just focused on my recovery. After years of struggling to get pregnant, they decided to get testing done. You take the necessary steps to prepare yourself emotionally, financially, to be a parent, and you have this hiccup, and it's uncontrollable. The Purnells were told their only option to conceive is through IVF, a not so realistic procedure when they were quoted $25,000 per round of treatment at a Nashville fertility clinic. Most patients do seem to pay entirely out of pocket and you know, that's not a small chunk of change, $25,000. Through a friend, they found a clinic in Barbados, which was at least half the costs with a greater success rate. 90% of the patients that we treat do not live on the island of Barbados. They travel to us specifically for care. Dr. Juliet Skinner was one of the Purnell's doctors. She says the majority of patients that come to the island for treatment are from the U.S. As only 21 states offer some type of fertility insurance coverage law. And after the IVF treatment was put on pause for some time in Alabama, Dr. Skinner says many couples feel helpless. We have uh, embryos left over. When all of that was going on, I just said to him how extremely grateful I am that our, our embryos are not in the U.S. We know that they're, they're safe. And now they are sharing their story with others, opening up a conversation about IVF and letting other couples know there are options. Recently, we've just taken an opportunity to take a step back and realize, wow, we're here. All of the things that we dreamed and prayed for, we have have and uh, parenting, yeah, has been everything that we hoped it would be. In Wilson County, Kendall Ashman, News 2.